Paying vendors electronically instead of by check has become a common practice, and the functionality found in SageMass 90 and Mass 200 make these payments an easy task. In this tutorial, we'll review the steps for processing the prenote for vendor ACH payments and creating the prenote or test file to upload to your bank. A prenote is a test file for zero dollars that is sent by your bank in a test transmission to your vendor's bank to ensure the account is correctly set up for electronic payments. In order to process vendor ACH payments through the accounts payable module, electronic payments must be enabled and configured. This process was covered in a previous video. In this tutorial, the steps we'll walk through are review of the electronic payment information for our vendor, running the prenote selection register, generating a prenote ACH file, uploading the file to the bank, and finally, running the prenote approval register. Let's begin with the first step, review of our vendor's electronic payment information that we previously set up for our example vendor. We'll start by going to the menu tree and select Accounts Payable, Main, Vendor Inquiry. Using the lookup, let's select our vendor, which will be All Climate Maintenance. Notice that electronic payment has been enabled for this vendor. Now we'll click on More and choose Electronic Payment. Here we can see all of the vendor electronic payment information that was previously set up for this vendor's ACH transactions. It includes the bank account information, distribution method and amount, prenote status, and amount deposited year to date. Notice that the prenote has not yet been sent. Down in the bottom left corner, there are two prenote processing options prenote selection and prenote approval. These options are typically accessed from the Accounts Payable Prenote Printing menu, but their placement here offers an alternative. For this tutorial, we'll do our processing from the Prenote Printing menu. So now that we've reviewed our vendor's electronic payment setup information, we'll click OK to close the window and then the Vendor Inquiry screen. Now let's move on to the second step in our tutorial, which is to run the Prenote Selection Register. To do this, we'll go to the menu tree and under Accounts Payable, we'll select Prenote Printing, Prenote Selection Register. The prenote sending date will default to the current system date but can be changed if desired. Let's view the register by clicking Preview. Here on the register, notice that it's been assigned its own batch number and it's prefixed with the letter P. The batch number will increment by 1 each time a register is printed and also includes the printing date of the register. The report selects all vendors that are set up for electronic payment that have their prenote sent flag set to no. It includes the information that will be generated for the file to be sent to your bank. Moving on, let's close the prenote selection register and click Yes to update the register. Now we're ready for the third step in our tutorial, which is to generate the prenote ACH file. This is a formatted file containing the bank account information entered in the vendor electronic payment window. This is the test file that will be uploaded to your bank to verify the information is valid for ACH transmission. So to do this, we'll go to the menu tree and under Accounts Payable, Prenote Printing, we'll select Generate Prenote ACH File. The bank code to use for prenote entries defaults from your Accounts Payable setup options. It can be changed here if necessary. The file code 0927 represents the system's current month and day. This field may also be overwritten if necessary. Batches to include in transmission has three options. All batches, which includes previously transmitted batches and batches that were never transmitted. Only batches never transmitted and only batches previously transmitted. The default is only batches never transmitted. This is the most common choice and we'll use this selection. You may also choose entries for inclusion in the ACH file based on the effective date. The effective date is the date that was listed on the prenote selection register. 
we'll use the default operand, which is all, in case a file was not previously generated. Transmission date is used to select entries that have previously been added to an ACH file. The transmission date is the date that the prior ACH file was generated. Clicking the List ACH Files button opens the folder where the ACH files are stored. This allows you to view a list of the files previously generated by this process. Let's close the window, and for our demonstration, we're using our Microsoft XPS Document Writer printer so that we can save the file and display it on our screen. When we click Proceed, the information will be sent to the selected printer. We need to save the file, and for demonstration purposes, we'll name it Pre Note File 0927 and hit Save. The report launches, and the information displayed includes a list of pre note selection batch numbers that were generated for upload to the bank. The report also summarizes totals of all pre note batch information. Let's now close the report. The file that was generated is stored in the location specified in the Accounts Payable Setup options. If no location was specified, then the file will be located in the AP Company Code folder. Before we complete this step, let's review our vendor to see what has been updated. Going back to our menu tree, under Accounts Payable, Main, we'll select Vendor Inquiry. Using the lookup, We'll choose our example vendor, All Climate Maintenance. Now we'll click More and select Electronic Payment. Note that the Prenote Sent field is now set to Yes. This means that the Prenote Register has been updated and the vendor's electronic payment status is in the test file process. Let's close the window and also the Vendor Inquiry screen. The next step is to upload the file to your bank. This is typically done through your bank's website. Since each bank has its own interface and instructions for uploading files, we won't be covering the actual upload process in this tutorial. So let's assume that you've uploaded your files under Step 3 and subsequently received confirmation from your bank that the prenotes were sent successfully. So we're now ready to move to the final step, which is to run the prenote approval register in order to update the vendor files. To do this, we'll go to the menu tree under Accounts Payable, Prenote Printing, and select Prenote Approval Register. For the Prenote Sent Date, we'll enter 09-27-2011, which is the date the Prenote was sent to our bank. Next, we'll clear the checkbox to include Prenotes after Sent Date, because we only want to approve the prenotes sent on a specific date and none that were sent after this date. The prenote approval date defaults to the prenote sent date plus 15 days. If needed, you can enter a different date. Importantly, the date entered here must be at least 10 business days later than the date entered in the prenote sent date field. For demonstration purposes, We'll click Preview to review the Accounts Payable Prenote Approval Register. This register details the vendor bank accounts for which a prenote has been approved by the bank. Updating this register changes the prenote sent field to Approved in the Vendor Electronic Payment window. Once a vendor is approved, you may begin to pay that vendor electronically. Let's close the report and click Yes to update the register. Now let's once again review our example vendor to see the updates. So we'll go back to the menu tree, and under Accounts Payable, Main, we'll select Vendor Inquiry. Using the lookup, we'll select our example vendor, All Climate Maintenance. Now we'll click on More, and once again select Electronic Payment. Note that the Prenote Sent field is now set to Approved. Let's close the report, and vendor inquiry. And that completes our tutorial on the prenote process for accounts payable electronic payments. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your Sage Mass 90 or Mass 200 system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.